Welcome back, family, friends, and fellow gamers to Game Bros. Continuing King's Quest. Last time we, we uh, helped out the Hobblepots and Amaya barely survived, I think. And now well, there's a yeah, dragon. Still surviving. That is somewhere? Oh, it's a little baby dragon. How to train your dragon! Nightmares come in many forms. Once you realize <laughs> you are actually afraid of, you can start to deal with the fear. What made that sound? Why do you have a drag? Okay, that's yeah, not that's a good idea. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Why it's like, it's like the Grim Reaper. You're yeah. like, what do you have to get? Especially at, at, at night and with thunder and lightning. Oh, uh -huh. man. <laughs> like the inside, like, you know, the covers like that. The inside yeah. is like horrific figures and whatnot. Wow, that is a lot why of Why are there so why why, why okay figured after that scream you'd be back. Let's pick up our story once again. I wanna know what the king I did about the rats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's I'm like still struggling with the loss of a chaka. Now my decisions meant the life or death of a kingdom. That's the true beast I needed to wrestle with. Oh, they're being mean to that guy. Um, oh, I, I remember how to do this. I, I won't tell you. Ooh, it's like a projector or something. <gasps> it's projecting Graham. What could we possibly do so that we can get yes, past? I'm still paying attention. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like Graham in his goblin form? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Oh, he's helping you. It's actually one of the um, bridge trolls, just in disguise. You're like, yeah, I don't remember. That makes sense. Need to wear his crown to be a great king. My old hat suited me just fine, and Daventry was ready for a new adventure. Noise. Well, I guess we can't wear mm. it. Ooh, a library. There are many books mm. in the library. <laughs> Brian Regan. Can you read the flower whatever's on the sword? Thing? It, you're not interact with any, and it, it's purple. Yeah, yeah. Can you read that? By me. The flute. Once in a town just like the one you're imagining, there was a beautiful castle that stood high on a hill. All were welcome here. Well, everyone except for the pests. The townspeople cried out to their king, we must be rid of these rats. They're scaring our children and stealing our cheese. One even ate a baby. The town had become very unpleasant indeed. Every morning, gold coins clanged through the water well, carrying wishes for a better town. But the rats remained. The king, in his finite wisdom, had also been casting wishes, for he desperately needed a plan. As wishes would have it, a wandering piper appeared at the castle gates. The piper offered to expel the rats from the kingdom if the town would overthrow their moronic liege. Here, here, they cried out. Our throne is but a seat for a hat rack. Rid us of these pests, and the throne is where you'll rest. The stranger pulled out a small flute and played a pleasing melody. The music 
summoned the rats out of hiding, and they danced on the head of the king. The king shrieked a high-pitched squeal, but the piper continued his song. The rats were led back to the wooded forest where they belonged. The piper returned to the castle to claim his reward, but his knock echoed throughout the halls, and no one let him in. He raised his pipe, and a new melody was played. He watched the drawbridge lower, and a mesmerized kingdom pranced to his side. With a few simple notes and a turn on the heel, the stranger led them from the castle to the deep, dark caverns below. The throne is now empty, and the well doesn't clang anymore. Manny knew exactly what to write to incite the Horde. He chose every word carefully, fully knowing how the goblins would react to his story. Oh, it was brilliant. They did all the dirty work, and he just sat back and watched. I thought I had bested him in the duel of wits, but the mind and games were just beginning. Oh, I thought that was going to be a... The baby... Whoa. Oh, foreshadowing. I think, maybe, kind of. <clears throat> um... There we go. Hold on. Do you need to pick... You can't pick up that book, can you? Not that one, no. <clears throat> How are you reading it? <laughs> Nightmares ever come true? Of course, but real monsters are far easier to deal with than imaginary ones. Ugh. Goblins ruin everything. Wait, is she not dead? She's the the Mr. Fancy Cakes and what's her face is in there. Everything. And the husband. Mm hmm I don't see them moving, but they're not Like, okay, after I don't know what the I don't know what it is, but after however many days of dying, they would be not well. So Enough. they're only stories. Can't you just enjoy them for what they are? You've missed the point entirely. Is this how you want your story to be remembered? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Uh uh um how about a new story? Hmm. Uh once upon a time there lived uh um, uh, uh, let me see what I got here. And uh, pull out Chester. There lived a wise little goblin who loved adventures. Hmm. <laughs> Even in his young age, stories of the goblin's quests had spread around the land. Like the time he... Uh, I guess just make it up. <laughs> Bear hugged a basilisk. Oh, never mind. No, that can't be right. Wait a minute here. 
outsmarted a, quims a quizzical griffin, or maybe jump kicked, maybe. Jump kicked an evil serpent lord. Nope. <laughs> I mean, as far as I know, you're just doing this trial and error. There's no like, oh, obviously, or at least some indication that it could be that. I don't know. Yeah. Adventures were so legendary, the goblins decided to make him king. But the goblin adventurer was out of his element and overwhelmed with the work it took to run a successful kingdom. His friends offered their wisdom. Mm, not wisdom. I guess not. Let me try that again. Strength. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's, like, like... it's like, oh, hard. Obviously, it's the last <laughs> one. That's why I know. <laughs> but it wasn't enough. He was afraid he would never live up to the king who came before. It got so bad that the goblin gave up. But when packing up his things to run away from the castle, the goblin found... Uh, he... he found... He found... So you can either do like the, the heart, I think is compassion, bravery. You don't have the other one, I, I think. So whichever one you want to do. No, that can't be right. Wait a minute. He's holding it like Zelda. That's hilarious. Yeah. Or Link. Sorry. Not, not Zelda. A Zelda game. Da -da -da -da. So I do not have the one? Um, hold on. Let me try that again. Let's see. What would you... Let me you... kind of do my... Adventurer cap. Oh. Nice. There you go. Goblin realized that he wasn't just here to continue the previous legacy. He was here to create his own. One filled with... Okay, then I can do... Bravery or heart. Compassion. And the best group of friends you could ever ask for. It's like, I like your stories. Go back to your cell. I'll call you when I need you again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's disgusting. <laughs> and the other 12 rats in my room, I will name. Yeah. Like, they carry disease. And then the other rats just run away because, you know, you that makes us. sense. No. Save us. Well, I think it was me, actually. You know, I'm not even sure anymore. Nice. So, all right, let's see. Did they actually die, or? All right, Mr. Fancy no, they didn't. The I thought for sure. Some of the details might have changed over the years. So I'm curious, like, can people actually die in that one then? Well, I'm glad. I thought for sure they died, but I'm glad they didn't. It's best to enjoy stories for what they are and not for what you hoped they would be. So it is funny, though, that the goblin's like, no, we're not feeding our prisoners. Of course we're not feeding our prisoners. Oh, they're, they're, they're about to die. Oh, well, of course we're feeding our prisoners. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like, that is a funny, you know, whatever. He's a human. I think they're all human. No. Oh, well, you never know. No, no. I, I mean, unless it's like the Pied Piper story. Yeah. But. You look like you could use a friend. Yeah. 
And that's the end of chapter two. So I got four gold coins and then I got whatever, two of the compassion things. Um, I guess. And, then it, and then it says, so actually that's kind of a compilation of what happened. Yeah. They two or those two, the baker and his wife, and then Mr. Fancy Cakes both were sent to the nice. That was a nice little, wing. little mini series kind but of thing. At least it wasn't like they were buried immediately after escaping the, you know, yeah, like because I, yeah, I could have sworn they were dead because like they're not going to hold on much longer, meaning that. They'll just be taken to the hospital. They'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Like, so why is yeah, it so goblins dramatic? Goblins have the best healthcare around. <laughs> yeah, like, why was this so dramatic? And it's like they're get they're you know put on in stretchers, walking out. It's like dun 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 yeah, dun no, dun dun. Like they're they're fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, like that's what. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm oh, glad. Man. It's just it's just funny. Like, I feel like it painted the wrong picture. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you all for watching this episode. Let us know what you would like us to play next after King's Quest. I'm sure we will continue with chapter three at some point probably not right away but let us know what you want us to play in the comments down below thank you all for watching have a wonderful day and be blessed